Hi, my name is Sam, and today we're going to go over how to use the surface view in Aviso. So to start out, let's open some data. So we're going to click Open Data, and we're going to go down to Chocolate Bar, and we're going to open Chocolate Bar with the type Aviso surface, like so, and click Open. So next, let's create a surface view module, and click Enter, like so. So a surface view module allows us a lot of control on how we display surfaces in a Viso. So to start out, we can control how the surface is displayed. So there are a couple different draw styles that a Viso allows us to choose from. So first, there's shaded, which is an opaque rendering of the surface. If we go to outlined, it is the opaque rendering of the surface, but where all the vertices are and where all the triangulated mesh is, there are lines superimposed on it. So you can both change the line width and you can change the color of that outline. So if we want to change it to green, we can do it like so. And click OK. Next, there is the lines one, which displays the surface as the lines connecting all the vertices in their respective material colors. Uh, then finally, there's also points, which is the similar to lines except with points, as you can see. Uh, then lastly, there is transparent, which displays the surface, but it's transparent. And you can change the level of the transparency using this slider. Additionally, if we go back to shaded, like so, we can change the colors using these different settings, and we can change how this is rendered with the more options. So with triangle normals, if we zoom in, we can see this is rendered as just a sequence of triangles, and we can see each triangle individually. But if we change it to vertex normals, Aviza will smooth over from triangle to triangle, so then you get a more smooth rendering. But it is not as accurate to that actual mesh. So next, we're going to go over how to use the buffer part to remove parts of the surface. We want to remove just this brown chocolate part. So to do that, we just want to select this exterior. So we're going to select exterior, and we're just going to select the exterior of the chocolate, like so. So a visa will highlight the parts that we have currently selected, and then you can click remove to remove them, like so. So next, let's say we wanted to remove this panel of the center part. So to do that, we now have exterior selected, So, but let's select mousse. So now we have only this exterior part of the mousse selected, and we can just remove it by clicking remove. So if we wanted to add it back in, all we would have to do is select it again, If we select it again, then we could click add and it will add it back into the current display. You can also click clear to just clear the buffer entirely and then just add in back what you want. Or you can use show and hide to show and hide this tab box and the selection. So we're going to have it all hidden and then next we're going to create another surface view. So I want to right click. We're going to click on chocolate bar surf, click surface view, and there we go. So for this one, I just want to remove all the center part, like so, and we're going to click remove. And the next thing I want to do is instead of this being opaque, we're going to change the draw style to transparent, like so. So now we have this cool rendering of the outside in a transparent fashion and the inside in the opaque shaded fashion. So that's why the surface view is so powerful. It allows you to compose different parts of your surface and display them in complex ways. So next, we're going to just cut a chunk out of this using the draw selection tools. We're going to click draw, and we're just going to draw a little chunk like so. And now we've selected this chunk, and we can click remove, and it will remove it from the rendering. So we make this just a little bit less transparent. We can see now how just this chunk is removed. Yep. Yeah. All right. So that is all for today. 
Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.